Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Miyazaki's Howl's Moving Castle in 2004. Here is the Blu-ray, and yes, once again, another Miyazaki review, another anime, of course, um, and Studio Ghibli collection, of course, uh, number seven on the spine um, of the set. And yes, uh, this is the one that, you know, I have seen before, um, seen it once before, saw it last year, actually. Um, so, you know, uh, of course, as I've been doing these reviews, I said, you know, there was a bunch of animes that I saw 2017, sort of August, a whole lot of them, um, basically, I watched and, you know, just, of course, became obsessed. Um, and yes, your Spirited Away was 2016, um, you know, for the first time I, I've watched them. Uh, Spirited Away, sorry. Um, and yes, I was, I was yeah. That is my favourite one. Um, I will say that, of course, I've already said that before. That's my absolute favourite anime film and actually my second favourite animated film of all time, um, pretty much. I mean, there's another one that's very close to that. And then my number one is, you know, my top 15, so it's, it's pretty hard to top that. But yes, this film, um, you know, I saw this one of the later ones that I saw um, in terms of, you know, the ones, of course, I've watched um, on Blu-ray. And yes, a bit controversial, this one. Um, surprisingly, yeah, you know, it's quite controversial. Um, before I watched it, I saw, I heard some discussions about this film and, and kind of, um, you know, on rankings, it's, it's, it's either at the top or, you know, very close to the top or, you know, right down the bottom. Um, not too many people put it, you know, kind of, uh, you know, in the middle. And yes, you know, you've got people that love it and love it, and you people that hate it, of course. Um, 8.2 on IMDb, pretty much, I think, or an 8.1. Um, it's one of the five, five or so Miyazaki's that are, you know, in that sort of top 250 mark, um, you know, Spirit Away, Mononoke being the top ones. So yes, it's very, very, um, you know, controversial, because some say it's just not that great, it's messy, um, and all this kind of stuff, and it's indulgent and stuff. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard some criticisms like that. Um, so yes, you know, I watched this. I, I, I didn't, you know, go in with uh, massive expectations in that sense then, you know, I kind of thought it might not be, you know, it might not be that great. Um, so I watched it January 2018, um, of course, and yes, this film, um, basically, the basic plot is uh, Sophie, um, she's a young hatter, um, and she, you know, she's not not that happy with her life really, um, and she doesn't, you can see early on that she doesn't really connect with a lot of people around her, um, you know, and stuff, and, you know, Old age kind of plays a big, uh, you know, it's a big theme in this uh, in this film. Um, so yes, yeah, basically, very early on she gets, um, you know, cursed by this witch, uh, witch of the waste, um, and basically she becomes an old woman, um, you know, and, and the kit, the curse basically, the aim of the film is for her to kind of get this curse lifted, um, and of course she meets Hal uh, very early on within the first ten minutes. It's no, it's not a massive, massive build up to that. He's in there straight away, pretty much. Um, Hal and he's a He's a wizard, um, he's got magical powers, and of course it's kind of a wizarding, uh, you know, spell sort of universe uh, kind of thing. It's very, very different to say, you know, Mononoke, or even uh, Spirit Away. Very, very different here. Um, of course, this is after them too, you know, this is three films in a row, um, you know, Miyazaki kind of um, churned out here, and you know, for me, um, pretty much his best three. This film, um, you know, is an absolute, masterpiece um, and you know it's very close for me uh, to, to Toro um, you know so you know I'm not going to reveal what is my third favourite at the moment uh, you know it's either to Toro or this um, Mononoke I think is definitely better than this and Spirit Away even even more so but yes this film blew me away um, I could not believe it you know it really just um, definitely one of the finest films ever made once again um, you know it's in my top 100 pretty much I think very hard, of course, to say, you know, when a film is not, you know, say top 50, if it's in my top 100, if it's if it's going to stay there. Because sometimes films get adjusted um, when I actually really, really think. But this one is, I think, it, you know, it's definitely in there, um, I would say. And, and one of my absolute favourite films of all time, um, you know, of course, Sophie, she tries to lift this curse, but it's more than that, you know, of course. Um, it's kind of this family that, that is created of these outcasts, you could say. Um, even you've got the Scarecrow, um, who is just... A great character, even the Scarecrow I loved. Um, How, of course, brilliant character. Um, Sophie is one of the best protagonists um, in an animated film, um, you know, and of course you've got the dog as well. That she kind of, uh, you know, befriends. Um, you've got the Witch of the Wastes. Uh, amazing story what goes on with her in the film, uh, the kind of arc there. And of course, of course you've got Calcifer, um, who's literally just the fire, um, you know, kind of, that keeps, keeps them alight. And yes, um, this film, you know, it's just uh, such a genius creation. Um, it's so full of wonder and heart. Um, you know, it's a wonderful opening to the film. Um, you know, just the, even the scenes, um, you know, where she's kind of just going up the hill um, early on. She kind of, of course, first encounters the 
the actual uh, moving castle, um, of course, which is Hal's home, basically. Um, and, you know, once you get in there, it's, it's genius stuff. Um, you know, you've got different it switches, where, which kind of transports into different kind of um, places at once. And it's just wonderful, of course. It's just so amazing. Um, but, yeah, you've got this, even just, as I say, the moments where she's building up to her, she's just walking up the hill, um, the scarecrow's following her. It's so spiritual. Um, it's just so amazing. The animation in this film... Um, I can understand if people say this is the best animation uh, from a Ghibli. Um, it really is something else. I do prefer uh, the style to Spirit Away, probably Mononoke. Um, but yeah, this one is absolutely stunning. Um, it's more, you know, you could say it's more colourful and stuff. And um, yeah, you know, we've got different different techniques um, that kind of, uh, you know, Miyazaki uses in this one. That he didn't use in them, in them films, um, but I do probably prefer the Mononoke um, Spirit Away kind of look. That's kind of the perfect mix um, there. And as well, just the overall worlds in them films I personally prefer, um, especially Mononoke, you know, the, the fantasy kind of uh, wonderful world and that, it's just beautiful to look at. This one um, is perfection um, in terms of the visuals. The score, of course, um, Joe Hisashi once again, um, creating one of the best scores, certainly in modern cinema. Um, absolutely stunning, um, so full of emotion, um, beauty and wonder. Um, you know, this film is very, very, uh, it's a very funny film. It's could be the, the kind of uh, the funniest Miyazaki film, actually. Um, it's much more light at times, um, but then again, it's so deep, it's so uh, moving, actually. Um, you know, and this is some of, the, some of the similar stuff that happens in Castle in the Sky, um, that happens in this. Maybe even Nausicaa, um, you know, and Atlantis as well. It's kind, of, yeah, it's kind of a mix of uh, some of the other Miyazakis, but again, so unique. Um, what it does with kind of, uh, what it says, says about old age and stuff and finding peace in that. It's really amazing. I, I think this is a very, very lovely film in that sense. It, it's, you know, the best intentions, very sincere. And yes, it's just um, so entertaining from start to finish. Uh, not a single moment in this film is not masterful uh, in terms of world building, um, just characters. The arcs in this film of all the characters, um, there's all these characters band together. And, you know, it's kind of like a family, as I say, um, you know, pretty much outcasts. Um, and it's just... It's so, so many peaceful moments, um, you know, especially in the middle of the film, uh, when they're kind of just uh, sitting around talking, um, or in the actual castle, you know, the moving castle, um, and it's just, by the end of it, you know, very, very emotional stuff, um, you know, and of course it's just such a resonance, um, I think, uh, with this film, of course. Many have said that, you know, it's messy, um, I don't see that at all, um, it's not got that too many characters in the film, you know, it's not... Um, it's not a massive ensemble, um, you know, and even even though it has got quite a few, you know, there's a few characters, um, never does it feel um, like there's no balance, like there's no kind of, you know, realisation in that, you know, it, all the characters get enough time to be developed, um, and it never takes away from the central romance, the central kind of um, relationship between uh, Sophie and Hal, um, which is just really wonderful stuff, um, very complex and very unique, um, you know, it's not really like any romances that I've seen, um, you know, relationships really, um, cause it's just so unique this film. Um, but yes, you know, it's just, it's wonderful. And by the end of it, you know, it's so satisfying. So, um, so pure. Um, that's the thing about this, you know, it's just pure emotions. Um, even the comedy, there's never any, you know, gross out stuff, um, which can happen a lot, especially these days in films. It's all just great comedy. Um, and of course it never, you know, takes away from the tone of the film. Um, tonally absolutely perfect. Um, and just, of course the action as well. Um, you know, of course I think, Nausicaa was the one where the action wasn't that compelling, um, but then you've got Castle in the Sky, you've got Mononoke, absolutely amazing. Um, this one again, the action, so good. Um, I loved uh, how how he changes uh, into the flying thing, and you know it's so creative and so uh, thrilling. Um, you know, of course, especially down to the animation here, it's just really wonderful stuff. Um, the animation is stunning. Um, it feels so so free, kinetic. Um, you know, of course, you've got the classic kind of. If you feel the weight of it um, because of the kind of the frame rate and stuff. Um, it's just so amazing here. Uh, and of course, yes, you know, you've got the kind of perfect, um, perfect kind of setup. You've got a wonderful uh, middle act and then you've got the satisfying and kind of very, very emotional and nostalgic um, final act. I found a lot of comfort in this, um, you know, and I just love the way it kind of explored age um, and just kind of you know, finding peace um, and it just, yeah. It's very, very optimistic, actually, this film, uh, from Miyazaki. And, um, yeah, he's not he's not known to do, you know, depressing films at all, really. Um, you know, I think, especially this, this one is, you know, it's very, very optimistic. You could say 
just like um, you know Totoro, um, you know this film is not that dark at all. Um, it's very very light at times, but you know it has got you know so much emotion in the film, um, and it's just it's a film that you know just perfect sense of time and place. Um, you know it's just it really is a flawless film for me. Um, I was stunned by the kind of the details in the animation, just the whole um, you know inside of the castle um, and just just the town as well. It actually reminded me of. Um, Castle in the Sky, the town, very, very similar there, of course, um, but just more more detailed and more more alive for me. I think it's a better film than Castle in the Sky. Um, you know, it's just, it's so enjoyable, this, um, but it's really, really good. It's, it's strong resonance uh, for me and just, you know, what can I say? Um, you know, there's not much more to say. Um, this is one of the best films ever made. Um, it's pretty much in my top 100. Um, and of course, yeah, I just think uh, if you've not seen the film, you have to check it out. Of course, um, all these characters... You know, you think some of them are kind of villains at times, and then, you know, they, they kind of turn themselves around. Um, you know, it's, it's such, uh, you know, genius storytelling. The script, um, Miyazaki, of course, once again, um, is so perfect. So great, so much great exposition. Um, there's so much charm in these characters. Um, and, of course, patience. Um, this is the key thing, of course. Pretty much every Miyazaki, um, maybe not Nausicaa, um, you know, I think he takes his time to build up these characters this world, um, and then of course the second half of the film um, is much more, you know, you could say action-packed, um, but more more things, you know, kind of the leads, you know, actually coming together, you could say, and more things, you know, coming off, um, and of course the action, the emotions, you know, and stuff, he saves it all for, you know, the best for the final act, um, in my opinion, and yes, you know, I think um, it's, it's just that the second half it is for me definitely the best, uh, more fantasy comes into there, interplay more there um, and again it's a film like Totoro where you kind of the fantasy elements are introduced gradually um, but you know it's definitely instantly a a wizardy kind of um, you know film um, especially with how um, you know the way he kind of walks in the air and stuff um, that's just so amazing the powers that he has and stuff is so so compelling um, I loved um, of course Kalsifer, um great character um, I love just the whole relationship between all of these characters, um, so warm, so kind of, um, so enjoyable, uh, and just uh, every character really, of the, you know, the kind of, uh, the people you're meant to root for, um, you know, I did, I did uh, absolutely, and of course, wonderful, wonderful ending, um, you know, just a very pleasing ending, um, and this film is just, it's monumental, it really is, um, and it's just an easy masterpiece for Miyazaki, uh, once again, of course, he is my second favourite Japanese director, um, and yes, of course, you know, Ozzy being my favourite, um, and yes, I just think genius once again. Um, you know, this film for me very underrated. Um, you know, it's certainly, certainly not a bad or, or messy film at all for me. Um, I think in every sense, uh, you know, of cinema, um, this is perfectly realised. Um, it's so so emotional. Um, the themes, of course, um, that it explores really really wonderfully done here. Um, the sense of uh, time and place, and just. Just, of course, you know, what it says about old age and stuff, and actually just a really optimistic, uh, you know, look on that, and kind of very, very peaceful. Um, I loved, of course, the witch in the film. Um, you know, I love what happened with her, and it's just very, very cute and charming film once again. Um, the dog as well. Um, I loved all these characters. Even though, you know, they're not characters that say a lot in the film, um, you know, it's all told visually, um, and just the charm of this, um, the detail, and just the emotion. For me, it's an easy 100% plus Tier one, um, into my top one hundred. Um, it's not my my favorite Miyazaki. Um, you know, I do prefer Mononoke, um, definitely, and, and of course Spirited Away. They're the two that I definitely prefer um, to this film, but this and Totoro very very close, um, which is very high praise, of course. Totoro is also in my top one hundred. Um, to beat that, you know, it's got to be truly something else. Um, you know, when I say my top, I, I've reviewed films, of course. You know that I'm. Yeah, so excited and pumped about that we're in my top 300. Um, so to be in my top 100, you know, it's kind of, it's something else, um, you know, and it's just a case of he's made a couple more that are definitely better for me personally. But this one um, is definitely one of the best films ever made. Um, if you've not seen it, highly recommend it. If you like anime, um, if you love anime, of course, it has to be seen. Um, but again, it's very controversial, this one. I'm on the positive side, um, absolutely. Um, I agree with the people that say, it's one of the best films ever made, um, and it's definitely one of the best animes, you know, I think right up near the top. To me, I think it's actually probably better than Kaguya um, as well, um, and Your Name, which are two, you know, non-Miyazaki films, of course. Um, yeah, I just think it's a wonderful film. 
full of charm. It's, it's got the perfect mix of, you know, lightheartedness, the comedy, um, the kind of charm of the kind of, um, you could say, very, very complex issues um, and also just just uh, deep um, emotional uh, kind, of, kind of resonance uh, in the film. The characters, um, just the wonderful music, uh, the world, and of course, all the kind of uh, the spiritualness that it kind of taps into. Um, it's just a perfect film. One that I cared about so much, um, got so caught up in the kind of the characters, the protagonist, of course, Sophie. Um, truly wonderful character. Um, you know, it's just genius how they, how Miyazaki developed her character um, throughout the film. Such a satisfying film and a very, very pleasing ending for me, of course. Um, so yes. One of the best films I've made, and, and yes, you know, this is an absolute masterpiece, um, you know, into my top 100. Um, so yes, of course, love rewatching this film, of course, even better than I remembered, um, and of course more uh, anime reviews on the way, um, you know, probably, probably in a week or so I'll do another one, um, I'll try and do one every week kind of thing, you know, at least, of course, um, I want to try and space them out, um, because it'll be quite, quite depressing if I kind of run out very quickly. You know, especially the Miyazakis and, and, and you know, Takahatas and stuff. Um, but yes, I think definitely recommend it. Um, one of the best ones ever made for me. And yes, thanks for watching my review.